getting locked up in a mental hospital is the finest theater training one could ever ask for because it requires you to lie. And that's something that really fractured my personality when I came out was this feeling that I had to lie so deeply and so consistently just to get my freedom back. And that was probably something that I needed to recover from even more than what they called bipolar disorder. I remember having sitting down at a table with this well-dressed man who had a nice pressed shirt and a colorful tie and he had shoes on. And of course I had none of those things. I was wearing this gown. I hadn't been given my clothes back. So it was really obvious that there was some kind of a power difference between the two of us. He was the psychiatrist and he said to me, hey John, how are those antipsychotics working for you? And at that point in my life, my relationship with the word psychotic was uh, it was like horror films. You know, I thought, you know, Jason from Friday the 13th, that's an example of psychotic. When he asked me how the antipsychotics were, were working for me, that was like a, that was like a, a being stabbed in the chest. Um, I think I was taking, yeah, I was taking an, a so-called antipsychotic called Zyprexa. I was taking Benadryl for sleep. And I think they gave me a small dose of benzodiazepine as well. So those were the pills that I was taking. I should point out that the Zoloft that I had been taking for 12 years for what I thought was depression, once I got into the hospital, I never saw the Zoloft again. So entering the hospital started an eight-day withdrawal, a cold turkey withdrawal of a drug that I had been taking for 12 years. So it's very significant, the pills that they were giving me, but it's just as significant the pills that they weren't giving me. But in the days following uh, in the, yeah, in the days following the hospital, then I started to notice the lack of Zoloft. And how would I describe it? Well, a lot of crying and being um, very anxious and upset. And I could actually feel my brain actually hurt. There was, there was physical pain that I could feel from, from that cold turkey withdrawal. A few days later, after I got out, I met with my general practitioner who prescribed it for me again. Now I was taking Zoloft and Zyprexa at the same time, which apparently is a no-no, but I didn't know that. I stayed on those drugs simultaneously for about a month, and then I realized that the quality of my life was really starting to drop. I had gained 30 pounds in 30 days. When I was on Zyprexa and I was gaining so much weight, I had another appointment with my general practitioner and I told him that this Zyprexa stuff is awful and that I need something different. So he takes out his iPhone and he starts scrolling down his iPhone and he's got some kind of an app that doctors use to, to look at, their, at the drugs. He scrolls down and goes, oh, okay, here you go. And he writes out a prescription for this drug called Seroquel. I didn't know what Seroquel was at the time. But he told me that Seroquel would probably have fewer side effects than Zyprexa. So I took this prescription and I went to the pharmacy and I had it filled. And right before they hand you the bag of the drugs, they say, you know, have you taken this drug before? Do you have any questions we can answer? And I said, yeah, I've got a question. What kind of side effects might I expect from this, this drug called Seroquel that you're giving me? And so the pharmacist said, oh, no problem. Here, let me take a look. So she opens up the bag and she takes out that piece of paper. And she opens it up, she goes, and she closes it, and she hands me the bag. And she, it was like, it was like she was sending me off to war. She was like sending me off to war to die. She knew that the drug that she was giving me was poison, but she couldn't tell me that. And so what I did is I relied on all of those signals of fear that she was giving me. And when she handed me that bag, I remember thinking, all right, the, the pharmacist is scared to give me this drug. It's probably not a drug that I should take. So I refuse to take it. Mm -hmm.